Dude Perfect, consisting of Tyler Tony, Cody Jones, Garrett Hilbert, and twins Corey and Kobe Cotton started unofficially back in 2008 in College Station, while all of them were undergrads at Texas A&M. The dude started out small with basketball trick shots in the backyard, but thanks to their enthusiasm and skills, their channel quickly gained traction and attracted over 42 million subscribers to this day. Even though they never changed their basic formula, the dudes always seem to push the boundaries of what's possible while having some fun along the way, and in today's video we'll be checking out 9 of their best moments, so stay tuned. We're starting off with one of the first videos of the dudes that took the world by storm and put them on the map. Filmed way back in 2009, a trick shot video from the Christian Summer Camp Sky Ranch went viral and today has over 20 million views. With their insane skills, the guys took summer activities to a whole new level, but more importantly, the video was created with a pledge to sponsor a child through Compassion International for every 100,000 views their trick shot video received. Needless to say, the highlight reel of trick shots catapulted the guys to popularity and stardom, but it also raised some questions regarding the legitimacy of the trick shots performed. The video quality, however, is a bit on the lower side and grainy enough to make any chance of video editing and staging rather low. Plus, the guys did it for a good cause and to raise awareness, so it wouldn't really make sense for them to cheat and fake the video. Considering the massive number of views the video has to this day and the importance it has for Dude Perfect, as well as the difference it made for them, it's easily one of their best videos especially when you do the math and take into account the number of kids that have benefited from it. Coming up next we have a video from 2014 when the guys tried to set the world record for longest basketball shot. To do so, the dudes headed to the Reunion Tower in downtown Dallas, aka The Ball. As Tony explained, the plan was to shoot the basketball off the ball from the height of 500 and plus feet into a moving basketball hoop below carried by Cody and Garrett. Tony shot the ball and even though it may have seemed crazy, it was a score against all odds. Unfortunately for Dude Perfect, however, Guinness didn't recognize the shot as the longest one as according to them, Harlem Globetrotter Thunderlaw held the record they had set in 2013 by sinking a 109 foot and 9 inch shot at US Airways Arena in Phoenix, Arizona, shattering the previous record of 104 feet 7 inches set by Pepperdine University player Ellen Buller in 2011. Regardless of Guinness's choice not to acknowledge Tony's shot, it is still one of Dude Perfect's best and most ridiculous moments. Sometimes, best moments are not the ones that revolve around trick shots Dude Perfect's famous for, but the ones that highlight their ideals and things by which they abide and you simply have to respect them for it. The guys have made it clear that their faith is their guiding light in business, and occasionally they had to turn down some offers no matter how lucrative they were, because they didn't fit with their worldview and things they believed in. As Tony said in one of the interviews, alcohol companies approach them all the time, ready to throw large amounts of money at the group in return for promotional videos. It's just something that we can't comfortably do, he said, and added that it's just not something they would feel comfortable promoting to a younger audience. Moreover, he also revealed that there have also been times where certain male magazines wanted to do an interview with them. Do we really want to be associated with that? We don't want to be pushing people to go pick up that magazine just to see a dude perfect interview, Tony said. Obviously, there have been hard choices, and where other celebrities and influencers would maybe bend and take the money, Dude Perfect remained adamant in their philosophy. There's definitely challenges and difficulties. I remember the first brand deal that really approached us was an alcohol company. I wasn't even 21 yet, I was still in school. They wanted to give us some amount of money to promote this alcohol. We just didn't feel comfortable promoting that, especially at that time our audience was probably 80 to 90% 10 year old boys. We just didn't feel comfortable being alcohol ambassadors. It didn't fit what we stood for, Tony explained. No matter what you do, if you're successful, there will always be naysayers ready to dissect your work and call you a fraud. Considering the dude perfect trick shots are so ridiculous and amazing, it doesn't come as a surprise that some people question whether they're genuine and legit or fake and edited in some way. One of the group's best moments that should have put those theories to rest occurred when the debate over the authenticity of the videos raged so much that people at Good Morning America decided to take a look into Dude Perfect, having experts look at some of the videos and see if there was any CGI involved. Ultimately, the experts found no evidence to support the claims that the guys have been faking their videos, but nonetheless the speculation didn't end. 
Dude Perfect's philosophy that just because it's hard doesn't mean it's impossible remained. In addressing such accusations, Jones said, We love it when people say it's fake because it makes the shot seem even more ridiculously impossible, and we get more publicity and hits on YouTube so we love the mystery of knowing whether it's real or fake. There is no denying that over the years, the dudes managed to attract a massive number of people and build a steady and impressive fan base, which includes some celebrities. One of the best moments includes the time when the Ant-Man himself wanted to take part in some of the activities along with the dudes, which doesn't come as a surprise as Paul Rudd seems as goofy in real life as all the characters he usually portrays in the movies. Before the Ant-Man came out, the guys made a collaboration video with the actor as they competed in round 2 of the Dizzy Sports Battle series. The competition had each person spinning face down around a baseball bat for up to 15 seconds before trying to hit a kickball, hockey puck, baseball and a tennis ball as far as possible. Needless to say, the final result was a ridiculous video of numerous failed attempts as both the dudes and Rudd got way too dizzy and fell over before even managing to hit any of the balls. The actor somehow managed to get to the last round but was eventually bested by Corey and Tony. The two then squared off, but in the end Tony was the winner and as such was awarded the smallest ant-sized trophy made up of tiny versions of the sports items used in the battle by the Ant-Man himself. Ever since they started out, the dudes were looking for a place to pull off the perfect shot and because they attended Texas A&M University, they went to Texas A&M's Kyle Field Football Stadium back in 2009 where they made a famous video boldly titled The World's Longest Basketball Shot. The video showing Tony sinking a shot from the top of the school's football stadium down into a basketball hoop at the field made them famous and looking back at the event, one of the Cottons said, YouTubers always need some type of big go moment. For us, that was when we did the world's longest basketball shot out there in the football field. That got picked up all over and made it onto the front page of Yahoo and we got 2 million views in 2 hours. Because of its importance in what they did, this video shows one of Dude Perfect's best moments that was a big thing for them and in their words, put out their story on a global scale. In 2013, the dudes revisited the stadium, but this time accompanied by Johnny Manziel, the quarterback of Texas A&M at the time. The video titled Johnny Football Edition, showing trick shot experts squaring off, became viral almost immediately as the guys threw balcony shots and ridiculous laser shots just like Tony did in 2009, popped the balloons placed in the corners of football goalposts and performed a hilarious Johnny Football Heisman shot. Even though Manziel drew significant media attention over his behavior off the field, the video was a mega hit and certainly one of the most interesting ones, especially considering the fact that the original video shot at the same spot back in 2009 came under scrutiny because of the dude's achievements. Still, when the experts in computer editing took a look and inspected the footage, they couldn't find any signs of tampering and manipulation of the video. One of the best Dude Perfect moments is certainly the one where they managed to perform 9 different trick shots in a row, showing off their skills with things other than a football. First up was Cody, sinking a basket with his back turned, followed by Tony who amazingly managed to shoot an apple in Garrett's mouth with a bow and arrow while looking away. Some crazy tennis skills were demonstrated as well, and a soccer knockout as Garrett called was performed. Darts were then thrown without looking and balloons were popped, and ultimately Tony managed to drive a golf ball straight into a glass bottle. What makes this video astonishing is actually the speed at which the dudes pulled off 9 consecutive trick shots one after another, which led many people to question its authenticity. Still, considering the dude perfect always tries to push the envelope with their trick shots, it doesn't surprise that they eventually decided to do something different than their usual stuff. We're wrapping up this video with the very first video dude perfect uploaded. Dating from April 8, 2009, the video titled Backyard Edition was the beginning of their long journey to stardom as it had over 100,000 views within a week. After brainstorming and spending one afternoon at Tony's Ranch bouncing basketballs off of buildings and backboards, Dude Perfect produced a ranch edition of basketball trick shots with Tony performing the majority of them. The video demonstrates their abilities and skills, clearly showing that the dude stumbled onto something that would result in a decade of upping the ante with various challenges, making this important video one of their best moments captured on camera. Thank you for checking this video out, and don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on and comment down below that you subscribed, and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can. Once again, thank you for watching and see you next time.